Air has finally released their third generation active collection bags. I've been a huge fan of the tech collection and travel collection for the past several years. This is my first venture into the new active collection and so far it has been great. <laughs> Starting off, let's go over a quick overview. Most of the features and things I'm going to talk about with the Fit Pack here are also going to be relevant for the Duffel Pack, but we'll get more into that later. Um, but with the exterior fabric, this has always been one of my favorite things with Air. It's a 1680D Cordura uh, ballistic nylon fabric. I believe these are the same materials that they've used on all the airbags since day one. Um, I have the Air Tech Pack one. I'm going on year four with it now. I've flown that thing across the country multiple times. I've taken it out in the rain, in the city, in the forest, and the fabric still looks perfect all these years later. So the material on these are definitely made to last and they look really great as well. You have all StormGuard YKK zippers. They feel great, just nice rugged beefy zippers on this. The Active Collection has two water bottle pockets that definitely fit pretty well. Uh, the Liter Hydro Flask does fit, but I have recently switched over into the 24 ounce skinny lightweight Hydro Flask. You could maybe use a bit more depth for some of these taller water bottles, but you're definitely not going to really run into any issues there. And you have some nice elastic so it sticks back and goes into the sides. Um, the capacity of this is just over 18 liters and just looks really tiny. Um, this is definitely going to be a smaller kind of feel and carry than the Tech Pack series, if you're familiar with that. Just for comparison's sake, this is the Tech Pack 2 next to the Fit Pack 3. They look pretty similar in size, although I will say this one, the Tech Pack, is going to have a little bit more capacity in my experience, even though they're pretty similar leader wise. On the front, definitely the main screaming feature here is just the center zip. I've never had a bag with a center zip. This is definitely something new for me, and I can imagine it's definitely going to be a bit of a divisive uh, style choice. And I was a little skeptical, to be honest, but I've been pretty happy with the way this performs, you know, it just depends on your use case and we'll get more into that later. Uh, flipping it around on the back though, you have these nice beefy straps. The airbags are always some of the most comfortable that I ever wear. Uh, really nice, thick, sturdy, lots of good padding. You have good padding and ventilation on the back as well. And it does come with some sternum straps if you are you know, all about the sternum straps, but they are easily removable if you're like me and generally don't like them, especially with a smaller capacity bag like this. You know, they're just not going to be much of a need depending on what you're carrying. You do also have a quick access pouch on the top here, which is a really nice kind of fleecy, soft, almost sweatshirt type of material feel. Uh, really nice quality. Again, just all of those nice little finishes and touches Air always gets right with all of their bags and was really happy to see everything continue so well into this collection. Going over some of the organization and design, let's just dive right into the main compartment here. This is going to be kind of the tech area, so to speak. Um, you have one laptop slot here. It fits up to a 16 inch laptop. Get that out of the way. And then you have again that kind of same almost sweatshirt sort of feeling material. Definitely nice and soft, but not overly thick or heavy. Um, definitely don't see any issues with scratching or anything like that. And then um, if you're familiar with any of the other airbags, the layout in here is very similar. I'm gonna try and get it on the overhead camera. But you have another pouch here if you want to carry you know, a Kindle or a tablet or a notebook. And then you have two other pouches on the other side. You can fit something like a MacBook charger here really easily. And then I have this big 20,000 milliamp hour power bank in here as well fits perfectly, tons of space. And then you have one zippered compartment here. You know, I just have an iPhone charger. You could keep your cables in there. And then right outside of the zippered compartment, you have kind of a separate quick access pouch for the inside. I really like this idea. I'm always kind of concerned with security with some of my quick access items. You know, I don't want anything to get stolen. So you kind of have this that's quicker access than normal, but not on the exterior of the bag. You know, I just have a mask and my head phones in here. That's about it for that compartment there. Getting back into this, you know, unique center zip pouch. Like I said, I was really 
concerned with this. I, I didn't know how I felt about it. Like I just said, the security aspects, you know, I'm always concerned about someone swiping something off of my backpack when I'm in the city. And this is definitely something that could easily be opened if you're walking down the street. That being said, it's all about how you use the bag and what you're carrying. You know, this front area is not really intended for, you know, expensive tech or anything like that. This is an active pack. So you generally keep all of your tech in the more secure back area. And then ideally, you know, if you're someone that likes to go to the gym or something like that, you know, you throw in your set of gym clothes in here and just kind of have everything loose. Or you could, you know, throw in clothes in a packing cube, something like that. And you have this nice area to be able to grab that stuff quickly. I mentioned there's the 1680D Cordura on the outside. The lining on the interior of the bag is an antimicrobial lining. So if you have sweaty gym clothes, it's not going to stink up the bag or anything else that you might have in the bag. Um, as you can tell, there's not a ton of space in this area, but there is a reason for that. Um, another specific reason why this might be really perfect for the right person, um, you have a shoe compartment here and you can see there's some little ventilation spots there, which is good. You know, again, if you have stinky gym shoes, you can kind of keep those in there and have them air out a bit. But these will fit up to size 13 shoes. Um, I'm a size 12 generally, sometimes 13 depending on the shoe. Um, these are my like trail running shoes I use for hiking and they are gigantic and I will say they fit really well in here. The one downside if you have giant feet like me, you know, if you're putting your shoes in there, you lose a lot of this space in the top area. But once you take that out, you can see you, know, you could pack you know, an indefinite amount of clothes in this front thing, you know, probably two large packing cubes would fit in here without shoes. But if you do have shoes, you know, you're gonna have pretty limited space up front here. I tried this out, you know, with just a basic gym outfit and um, also just a sweatshirt, like a heavier weight sweatshirt. It was a tight fit, but definitely fit with the shoes, but something to keep in mind if you're wondering which size to get, whether it be the duffel pack or the fit pack. You know, this fit pack here is um, is going to be a tight fit if you have really big shoes and big feet. So that's about it for the design and organization overview. As far as the pros for this bag, like I already covered, you know, you have really high quality fabrics and finishes, definitely screams premium. And uh, it's only $145 too, which is a crazy good price for something this nice. And I really love the aesthetic. You know, if you're into that sort of tech wear vibe, I feel like it fits nicely into that sort of tech wear look, but it's also, you know, professional enough where you could take it into an office. It's casual enough where if you're not, you know, some big tech wear person, it's gonna look pretty good on just about everybody. In terms of cons, I think it all depends on you and your use case. You know, the center zip for a lot of situations is going to be less than ideal compared to say the tech pack or the everyday pack or, um, you know, a ton of other options out there. But if you're someone that tends to go to the gym every day before work and you wanna bring your gym clothes with you and your gym shoes with you and still be able to carry all the stuff you need for the office and in the back, you know, this is a really excellent option for you. Um, also, if you're someone that just needs to travel with shoes, maybe you're a foot commuter like I was before I went full time from home, uh, where you need to walk to and from work every day and you wanna carry your dress shoes with you. you know, if you need to carry a pair of shoes around in your everyday life, I think this is an awesome option. If you tend to go to the gym on a regular basis, going to and from work. The only other thing worth mentioning with this as well, I said, you know, if you're commuting, to work and you want to go to the gym. Um, if you have big feet like me and you want to fill up all of this with your shoes, you're going to have a tough time fitting, you know, like a full outfit of dress clothing into this front pouch. Um, takes up most of the space here and you're probably going to get, you know, a dress shirt and dress pants wrinkled if you're in here. That's kind of where the step up comes from this though, the duffel pack. So this is the duffel pack. Very, very similar to this overall but mainly just larger. You have the same design and layout. All of the interior functions are exactly the same. You just get a little bit of a higher capacity bag. Um, the only other kind of design functional difference, you have these two little quick access pouches on the top here that go above the water bottle holders. You also do have deeper water bottle holders in this. Um, so if you do carry a really tall water bottle, you'll probably be a little bit better off with the larger capacity. 
Um, this one comes in at 175 compared to the 145 that we talked about for the Fit Pack. So a little bit more, but you get a lot more capacity. Uh, it's just over 21 liters, they say on their website, but this definitely feels and fits significantly more than the Fit Pack. Um, air always tends to do that. You can cram a lot into these bags for how small and compact they end up seeming. It's the same with the Tech Pack Series 2. So you can definitely fit a lot more in here. So if you do have to carry, you know, a full set of dress clothes, or if you wanna travel with this and a spare pair of shoes, I think this could be a really good option for travel. You have tons of room for clothes in here, just a larger capacity version of the Fit Pack. Lately, I've been all about the smaller capacity backpacks as my carry you know, on a daily basis gets lighter and lighter, but this is a really good option for travel. That's where that double zip is kind of really great if you're, uh, you know, someone going on a road trip or just traveling around a lot, you can quickly grab that stuff out. You have little nice touches, like you have this handle here so you can zip it closed nicely. I think overall, whether it is the right choice for you just comes down to your lifestyle and choices like I covered. I think the tech pack is gonna fit a broader range audience for most of the folks probably watching the channel here and myself included, but these are definitely great and would be a much better choice for the right person. I think that about covers it for everything I wanted to say about these bags. Uh, be sure to let me know if I left anything out down below in the comments. If you have any questions about the sizing or pockets or anything like that, I'd be happy to stick around and answer them for you. And uh, be sure to check out the links in the description if you are interested in picking these up. Uh, Air did send these out for me to test and try. I've had them for about a month, but they did not sponsor this video. They're not seeing it before it airs, nothing like that. So these are my honest thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think about these down below in the comments. Uh, let me know if you've picked one up already, what you think of it, if you've gotten it in yet. I know they just came out a few days ago, but thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.